Hi guys, welcome to the JKT Radio Podcast, episode 94. I'm your hostess with your mostest, Kira, or Bun, or Muffa, or you know what? I am too tired to care name. And I've, because we just had Halloween, or for us it is Halloween, as of recording date, um, I'm, we're, we're, we're everyone's favorite monster, so going by classic monsters, I'm going to be the wolfman. And I'm joined by my other classic monsters, Chris. Uh, vampire. Fried. Frankenstein's monster. Good. Excellent. And Devin. I'm going to be the mummy. Ooh. Lemon's also here. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Lemon. I am purely the mummy because I have way too much of an attachment to the 1990s Brendan Fraser mummy. Also, true. good on you, him. McBride, for saying Frankenstein's a monster. Yes. I was very specific in that. It is, like, it is not Frankenstein, that was the scientist. Frankenstein. <laughs> Although, technically speaking, Frankenstein was the real monster all along. Yes. I mean, true. Yeah. This is true. But. But specifically, but they... the Frankenstein monster. Mm-hmm. Don't you know? It's Frankenstein. <laughs> I almost watched that last night. It is such a good Halloween. I, we watched that, I think, at one point for Halloween. I think we were all in my we basement did. and we watched yeah, Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, we had a, I had a movie night last night. Oh, yeah, what did um, you watch? So we watched... We watched Van Helsing first. Yes. That's because a good one. two of the three of us, two of us had never seen it, period. Have, please tell me you've seen it. Oh, I, I, I've watched it. It is such a gloriously trashy movie. <laughs> is that the one with the flying, you know what? flying ladies? Yes, that's the one with yeah. the flying ladies. The flying and ladies. Hugh Jackman with the machine gun crossbow. Yep. Right, which is actually and not that out of the order. Like It actually isn't. There is it's, a historical precedence for, like, like a yeah, machine like gun a repeating type. cross. But granted, I don't think it literally worked like a Gatling gun, like it did in the movie. No, but, but there is a repeating crossbow. Also, I There's swear that repeating. that movie also has one of the best uh, Draculas. <laughs> yes, we were all commenting about how He's fat so this good. Dracula yeah. was. He's so <laughs> he. That man knows that exactly what movie he is in and yes. is playing the yes, fuck out of it. Yes, it's fantastic. Yeah. I need to see um, Rocky Horror tonight. It ha- it has to be done. Ooh. It has to be done. You can't yeah. not you can't go through Halloween and not watch ho- Rocky Horror. I Rocky will s- Horror. I will say another Rocky. great Halloween movie that I don't know how many of you have actually seen, but uh, Hellraiser. Mm, yeah, I always mean to. Because I, uh, I remember I spent one Halloween at uh, Jade's place, and we watched Hellraiser, and I'd never seen Hellraiser. Like, I, I knew the... You've never the, seen the any pin... of the Pinhead movies? Uh, I, I knew it was the Pinhead dude, but I, I ha- I'd I never seen it, because I... Gen- funny enough, I generally don't do horror movies, and it's actually, like, a phenomenally good movie. Yep. I feel like Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak's so Crimson good. Peak is so Crimson fucking Peak's. good. I... Maxine and I actually went and saw it in theaters on Halloween night. Nice. At like midnight. Mm, nice. It was so it was so good. I love I love Crimson Peak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we watched Van Helsing and then we watched Hocus Pocus because it was oh, necessary. <laughs> um, I haven't seen that in years. I have actually never seen Hocus Pocus. <gasps> Chris, you need to fix that. Yeah, I do. Especially since they're now officially making the second one. Which kind of is a little weird to me. But, I mean, yeah. I guess all the actors are still alive. Mm-hmm. And if it can make Disney that good old nostalgia money, then why the fuck not? Well, no, they've been trying to make the second... Ho- the, the the actresses themselves have been trying to get the second Hocus Pocus movie made multiple times. Oh. Uh, it became actually official, I think, last year or earlier this year or something. Fair enough. Okay, if it's the actress- actors that actually are like, hey, can we do this now? Then that's yeah. A little bit yeah, they've been trying to they've been trying to get it done for a long time. Cause isn't that the movie where they like go up to a dude on the bus and they're like, "We desire children," and the guy's just yep. like, "Well, it might take me a couple of minutes, but I'll see what yep. I can do." <laughs> yes, it is. Yep. I think that's also what the one where like they fly on a, on a vacuum instead of a. Bridge. That is also the same mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hocus Pocus is a right. classic. Let, let me get out the bucket. <laughs> I do love how. Generally speaking, my taste in like horror movies or how just Halloween movies will go. It's either 
super fucking dark, twisted, fucked up shit like Hereditary or like Midsummer, or just the campiest shit imaginable. I'm a I'm I'm a pussy, so I only like the campiest shit imaginable. Yeah, you see, I'm actually generally speaking. To, like, to me, my litmus test is, like, okay, does it have multiple fucking t- jump scares? I can't do jump scares. I hate them jump, so much. Jump scares is cheap horror. And, they're, yeah, they're also just super cheap. Um, although I see... There are... There's a couple ones that I usually sit through because they're just, like, I appreciate the craft that goes into them. I'm trying to think so of one of them. a well-done jump scare, and then there's cheap horror jump scares. Were you... Were you in our English class in grade 12, Kira? No, I got left out. Oh, that's right. We watched um, this older movie from the 60s with Audrey Hepburn, where she plays this uh, blind woman. And there's three dudes who are, like, basically breaking entering into her home because for... I can't remember for whatever reason. But, um... And I remember we're sitting there, and it's a movie from the 60s, so it is a bit dated and, you know... But, uh... Basically, throughout the movie... Because, again, they're blind and they're she's trying to find them and get them out of the house and they're trying to kind of just avoid her um and i can't remember what happens to the other two but then there's one left and at this point there's they've been systemat- systematically turning off lights in the house and apparently in the actual theater every time one of the lights went off in the house they would dim the lights in the theaters a little bit more neat oh, that's um that's actually good but then, of course, then she finally finds the last guy, and she ends up somehow being able to stab him. Although that just reminds me of, like, a joke I saw where the horror movie is, like, they have, they keep turning off the lights, but they're clapper lights. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, do, I don't think clapper lights even existed around this time. No, but it's just a funny thought of, like, they have to keep clapping the lights on and off. But uh, there's a great, there's a great fucking jump scare where she stabs him, and you think he's dead, and... It's just part of it, it's the way they structured the shot, because it's a fairly wide shot of her coming out of this hallway that's pitch black. And I remember everyone in the class was just like, okay, this movie isn't, you know, that scary. And then this fucking dude suddenly just jumps out at her, and, like, like he basically jumps and lands on her, and, like, rugby tackles her. And there's just, like, psych- the, like the psycho strings kind of play. And everyone just fucking just, like, jumped about a good foot out of the chair. I love it. Beautiful. We watched, um, uh, Hitchcock's The Birds in one of my English classes, and, like, I'm not afraid of birds. I'm a little unsettled by groups of birds yep. now, though. See, all, all I remember now is there was a John Mulaney skit on SNL where it's they're doing the bit where she's in the phone booth and mm. she's like oh the birds are are and she's calling this army general who's john mulaney and she's like oh the birds they're 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 birding someone to death and john mulaney's just sitting on the other line just like how <laughs> how did they and then she's like oh the birds they they blew up a gas station she just goes okay you need to explain to me <laughs> how exactly the birds blew up a gas station. She's like, well, I don't know. They were just, they were just out there and it blew up. It's like, Didn't. no, you just told me that the birds blew up a gas station. Yeah, that's valid. But yeah, no, it's it's always funny going back to like, especially like the Hitchcock movies and being like, okay, they're older movies, they're not that scary, but no, Hitchcock knew what the fuck he was doing because I watched mm. Psycho a long time ago and I was like, okay, <laughs> everyone says Wait, this movie's scary. Psycho or American Psycho or Hitchcock Psycho. The Hitchcock Psycho, the shower Hitchcock Psycho. Psycho. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's funny like th- at this point the shower scene's no longer the shower scene the shower scene's no longer scary to me at least to me like it's unsettling because of just the implications there but there's the because everyone talks about the shower scene but there's a scene later on it's where a dude's um now. going up the stairs mm-hmm. and at the top of the stairs you see a door open slightly and the, the, it just goes for so long and so long and so long and as soon as he gets to the top uh, the killer comes down and basically stabs him and he falls down the stairs. That shit was fucking terrifying. <laughs> I came across a very genuinely terrifying little short movie the other day. So, um, 
the lovely oh. green Irishman Jack Septicai. <laughs> Oh, watched yeah. a series of short, terrifying movies right. I, the other I day. I started watching that video, and I was like, yeah. oh, no, I'm But the, the, one, the one that caught me off guard was, it's it's just called Home Movies. First oh. of all, like, I love how that one's edited. There's one specific scene, because, like, it all takes place, this woman's watching a bunch of home movies on, like, an old um, camcorder type of thing. And all of a sudden, it starts glitching out and shows, like, actual parts um in the room that she's in but like where the camera's pointing and it's just showing like a figure that she can't see but she can only see through the tv which adds that much more creep factor but the one cool thing that i thought was really cool um so she has she has it going and then she just grabs her keys and starts to run up the stairs to like leave but then it zooms in on the camera slowly like the little like play rewind fast forward buttons and then the rewind button presses and then all of a sudden she comes back and like keys in hand. She's like, "What the fuck just happened?" Like oh, that. I, that, I thought that was that so before. cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. I just I just googled it right now. It just came out a year ago, apparently. Yeah, because I think I remember he saw that he watched the video a year ago or something like that, and I don't think he remembered. I don't know. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it was yeah. No, that sounds really cool. Um, yeah. There's also that game that everybody keeps playing now. It's like Poppy's Playhouse. Yeah. I started to watch like Markiplier play it for a little bit, and then I'm like, ah, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. Yeah. It, even the, even the thumbnails look scary. Yeah. I am good. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm going to say no, thank you. Yeah. Equally, I'm um... curious what Chapter Two will look like too. <laughs> oh God. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm. Just like, mm. There's a movie I keep trying to like muster myself to like watch. Uh, it's called Wreck, like for like re in like recording. Ooh. Uh, it's like it's a found footage zombie movie. Hmm. Uh, and uh, it is a lot of it is just the way it's shot. It looks so realistic because it's it's a it's I think it's a Spanish movie. It got remade in the U.S. as Quarantine, but it's not as good. Um, and it just, it basically, it's like this news team with a couple firefighters get trapped in this uh, hotel co uh, complex with a, while with this basically like hardcore zombie virus is spreading. Um, and hang on, I I'm going to like, I'm going to post the, I think the trailer in uh in in the chat because i don't think we can show it in the video but... no we can't uh no i'll, I'll, any, I'll for, link it though for anyone who's seen it it is like if you can get past what would probably cause a lot of motion sickness uh it is fucking terrifying Yes. At least Silence. It My favorite. Oh, so I just want to say, anybody who says that candy corn is bad is weak. I mean, it is. You're weak. It's literally wax. It's disgusting. You're weak. <laughs> it's so gross. All of if you I wanted weak. to eat wax, I would go eat the candle behind me. Let me just go eat this candle. Yeah, mm, so tasty. Like, I'd, I'd rather mm. eat an orange candle. Yeah. All of you are weak. And it's evolution's coming for it's, you. <laughs> it's so gross, though. Yeah, the fact that Chris. candy corn has been out for decades and it's been universally accepted as the worst candy ever. Yeah. yeah. All there of are you people are that weak. like it, I will admit. I'm pretty sure Actually, how long has I can been? still eat it. It's just, you know what? I'd rather enjoy what I put in my mouth. Yeah, that's the thing. When Crazy. was it a thing? I like candy corn. Oh. Come on. I'm very aware. <laughs> yeah, this is Barnum's <laughs> I stand by my sentence. It started I, production I in the late I... 1880s. Oh. That's when it started. Neat. And then... Uh, it's a classic. Some some candy factory. No, the nasty. 
Golitz Confectionery com Company, now called Jelly Belly, start began manufacturing them in 1898. Huh, neat. Sweet Jesus. Yes, wow. it is very sweet. No. And you know what? I bet they didn't change a goddamn thing for the entire time Probably they, they not. made it. Because That's it actually, sure as fuck tastes like they No, ate actually they the would have had to change something because um can't the, the sugar would not have been as much available back then and also um during the World War 2 or not World War 2 but like the the Great Depression well, they would have they would yeah. changed things. What what year was that started made being made again? 1888. 1898. Oh, 1898. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I heard 1998. No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I don't know why, but then again, to be fair, I am very broken right now. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Kira sounds like migraine me. Is seepy seep then? <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed at what? What time did I say I was going to bed? Uh, eight. Nine? Something. 8.50. 8.50, I said I was going to bed. Oh, if I go to sleep, yeah, 8.20, it says on my end. Well, I'm, it, wow. just on, on, he, on here it shows 8.50, so. 8.20, well, if I go to sleep. You guys didn't respond. Oh, like, <laughs> yes, I was looking at the wrong one. That was my bad, so it was yeah. 8.20. That's not me. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, to be fair, it was probably closer to 8.50 because I, I, had, I had friends over. They were... Left. So I was stayed awake to make sure everything. Uh, Although yes. I will say when you when you did the intro and you're like so alert, Tevin and I just looked at each other like what the fuck. It yeah, was, was very strange. It's like what thirty seconds prior is like oh, and then as soon as it started, it, I my hi ass guys, welcome back to Jacob D. <laughs> it's like what? That was that was every single ounce of my energy. <laughs> yeah, it was like you died immediately after. Yeah, yeah, and to be fair, yeah, you, I, you, you always start ounce. every episode very explosive, and then it just kind of dwindles from there. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you have all of my energy yeah. immediately. I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> it's, it's the audio version of clickbait. <laughs> I'm the clickbait. <laughs> but as you will. Yeah, yeah. Brad's just, thumbnail now has to be me. <laughs> oh, crap. Wait, don't you There's have a photo any, of me holding your, the wine? Don't you have all of your like Halloween costumes still? Yeah, I got a good chunk of them. I'm not saying to dress up like the pictures of you in your costumes because I remember we've talked about those before. Yeah. I'm putting the because probably what's gonna happen right now is I'm going to stay awake for a few hours and then go back to sleep and then wake up at eight. Hmm. Like my my course of today is a series of naps consisting of a few hours. Yeah. That was me yesterday because I had a I had a migraine, but I knew the migraine was coming. It had been threatening me mm -hmm. for like an entire week. Because I had afternoon shifts, and when I have afternoon shifts, I don't actually eat properly. <laughs> I don't eat properly don't ever. Well, I I don't usually eat properly, but like there were days when I that was the joke and a full day without eating or like with only eating like half a meal because my schedule gets all fucky i mean do they not let you go on lunch breaks not on a five hour shift at oh, that's 4:30. true they the don't. thing is, is that if i don't eat in the i don't eat yeah. in the morning right so like if i don't really eat in the morning i get up at like 11 or whatever then i am doing my thing until about like two but like again I don't really eat a lot, so then I leave for work at three thirty, <laughs> or no, I leave for work at like four. So like, I go most of a day without really eating. Hmm, that's not good. No. Hmm. It's, why I, it's why I try to avoid afternoon shifts. Because my brain's like, hey, no food for you. I'm like, why? Why? Doesn't help that I'm back on my medication, which is a good thing, except that it suppresses my appetite. Which I already have an issue with. So. Mm -hmm. But I got the migraine out of the way, so hopefully I'll be fine. So. Well, hey, there we go. Like I said, I knew it was coming because it's been threatening me for a couple of days, but. 
It's like in um uh, in, in Parks and Recreation when Ron Swanson uh realizes his ex wife is coming. And he's just like <laughs> I can smell her cloven hooves. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I, I love that entire just that entire scene yes when he like <laughs> and then he when he leaves and he like breaks a part of the ceiling and he, he's had like a stash there for the I past know, 20 years I know. <laughs> <laughs> and just godspeed and he runs off <laughs> I don't understand okay eventually I gotta we gotta I gotta show you some parks and recreation that's quite funny it's 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 good fun well, it's funny, we were talking, because when we were talking about Alfred Hitchcock, all I kept thinking about is Hitchcock and Scully. Yeah. <laughs> that entire time, I'm just like, I know we mean the film director, but I just keep seeing an old fat man. I mean, yeah. Alfred Hitchcock was also an old fat man. Yes, but an incompetent old fat man. And it was funny, so, um, I guess a really new episode of... Um, Brooklyn Nine Nine was on the other day, and like I'm watching it, and it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. And all of a sudden, Amy's holding a baby, and I'm just like, oh, is this new? Because there there wasn't a baby involved last time. And we look at the episode; it came out in like August of this year. It's like, yep, it's very new. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Yeah, we've been current. We've been binging Brooklyn Nine Nine for the past m- month or so. Yeah. Which is a little bit. It, it's both cool and also a little bit frustrating sometimes because I feel like doing something like watching another video and then Brooklyn Nine Nine comes. On, I'm like, cool. I've paused this video and I have not gone back to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got caught up all the way until they got air quotes canceled. <laughs> right. So I, yeah, I haven't watched any actually, of the new ones yet. Yeah, we just we just got there because I remember, yeah, it was like season five at the end of season five, uh, Jake and Amy get married and then that was yep. when they got cancelled. Yeah. Because um the uh I guess I can't remember which now I'm trying to remember what channel they used to be on, but but I thought it was uh, Fox. I think it was. Or FX or something like, like that. The show's very popular, and a lot of people really like it, but we're going to cancel it. Uh, and then yep. <laughs> the fan base was like, Ex fucking excuse me? Uh, and, like, and, nope. then, uh, NB- and then NBC was like, we'll save you. <laughs> yeah, because the first time we saw the NBC logo, it was like, what? It was like, what? Hello. It was like, oh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> hello there. Okay. General Kenobi. My my wrist is all like. Who the hell is sending me a message at this time in the morning? Oh no. It's getting close to. I mean. Twelve. Yeah, it is almost noon. (laughs) I wouldn't say it's like. No, no, it's more of why are you sending me a message? There are five other people you could be asking. Uh, (laughs) Ah, that type of thing. Yeah. I'm like stabbing my wrist right now because like. Don't hate, stab hate your wrist. It and it's itchy and painful, and I must itch it, but I can't. It's like the same thing with my hand. So, unfortunately, in probably April or May or something like that, um, I started developing eczema in my hand. Oh, that's rough. It has been insanely Ooh, itchy. Rough. I found something that works, so I've, I've just been using that. But, like, up until that point, it was like, why is my hand so constantly itchy? What the goddamn is going on? And then, like... My, my, I think it was uh, a birthday or Thanksgiving or something like that. And then my parents saw that I had this thing with my hand. It's like, oh, crap, you have that too. Like, excuse me, two? <laughs> Who else yeah, has yeah. this? My brother has it. My dad has it. It's like, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> so now I have asthma <laughs> and eczema. <laughs> Anything else that ends in A that I could have, please? <laughs> Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, yeah. <laughs> <Stomach> diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Those commercials have, like, infected our brain. Yep. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I have eczema, but only specifically, like, on my middle finger or on my right hands. Very interesting. Yeah, it's only on, like, one spot on my hand, and it's only on my right hand, and that's it. Here comes Boomy. Itchy, 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 itchy. Here comes the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Mm. Boomy is very, very, very confuzzled as to why we are singing to him. <laughs> we got a Conyer at work. He's okay, a very okay, cheeky boy. <laughs> a Conyer? Conyer. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's 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 a parrot. Ah. He's a good boy, Your Honor. Or girl. We actually don't know. Aw. Birds are, are a little hard to see. Not ways to tell? Not with this one. Conyers are not considered sexually dimorphic, so you the only way that you could tell is like if you look at basically their vent. Those are words you don't yeah. understand, darling. Yeah. So you can, they're not you know how peacocks have the bright colors and then the male and then the female peacocks, which are peahens, don't? Yeah, they're These usually are not more like dulled that. down. These are not like that. So sexually hmm. dimorphism means like uh, the males and the females look different from each other. It's not like that with Conyers. And so you, the only way to look is to look at their genitals. I see. Literally. Well. It's like, oh, aren't you a pretty bird? Let me look at your crotch and find out who you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then these these birds are not exactly handled, so that's not happening. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the birds, yeah. Are, the birds aren't just going to lie there and just let that happen. Some so. birds would. If you spend enough time with them, they like to go on their backs. You can give them belly rubs. Oh. It's usually the males. Like it's actually proven in larger parrots that the males have trouble um, discerning humans and the other fem- flock mates <laughs> apart because they're genetically dumber. I love that. <laughs> Poor little yeah, guys. Yeah, so they flock bond to humans because they think they're they're flock mates. That's why a lot of ta- of the uh, the tame birds are male. That's amazing. God damn it! I, I, are we doing? Are we doing a game this, I was, this time? I was gonna not? say, does Kira have the energy for a game, or are we just gonna we just gonna sit and uh, shoot? Yeah, the give, shit? give me give me a few more moments because I'm I'm actually working on making sure it it's plausible. Okay, fair I, enough. I, I I'm like you know what I'm gonna change which ones I'm doing right now. Okay, fair enough. Spooky plans. Spooky plans. What's going plans. on? Oh, th- that's a yeah, what question. Are, what's everyone's what's... spooky plans? Yeah, just spooky plans uh, for tonight. We're going... I have to finish my Zagreus pumpkin, because I did a la carte yesterday. Mm. You should um, show a picture of that in the group chat. Oh, yeah. yeah well, I'll, I, I'll, I, I'll toss it in. Don't, I don't have a picture of him lit yet, because we don't really have very good lights here. Well, Millie, when I put the candle in, it was, like, midday, so uh, I probably should have d- done one uh, last night, but I didn't. Uh, all right, well, on, one, anyway. once he's hashtag lit, then post a picture of him, and I'll, and I'll throw him yeah, in Yeah, because I have pictures of the transfer that I'll put here, but... Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, hashtag lit. Sup, bro. Oh, that lit. Ah, oh, saw it. <laughs> saw it. <dude. laughs> Thanks, I hate it. They look cool though. They do look. They do look very cool. I realize I have a theme this year, which is pretty boys, men's right nipples, because I've had to focus particularly on each of their right nipples. Oh yeah, nipples. look at that. I thought I thought that was left. It's hard to tell in Zagreus, but his nips out. They're yeah, left. they're both there. I do Tennessee, s- that be there, right? I do, okay. I do see distinct little yes. nipplages. <laughs> They're basic. Literally, it, it also kills me because each of the pictures, I, I just think I, I figure like, oh, did they put actual detail in? Oh, it's actually just a circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got, gotta get them nip nops. <laughs> gotta get them nip nops. Beat more. There's a boom boom. Oh, <laughs> you startled him. I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, but so for the for the Halloween plans. Yes, mm-hmm. we are going to go to my parents' place and show oh, off nice. all of our pumpkins and oh, nice. uh, steal steal a bunch of their Halloween candy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't think we really have anything planned. We have a bowl of candy just in case kids like come up and 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 do the whole trick or treating in our building. I'm not yeah. holding my breath. Which is kind of great, because that yeah. just means more candy. 
Exactly. And also, I've been I've been specifically COVID. holding off too. It was like I've only had three pieces so far. We've had the th- we've had the candy for like two weeks. I've only had wow. three pieces. Oh, nice. Extreme self control. <laughs> I would not have any of that self control. <laughs> only because I'm yeah. waiting for the other box to be opened, which has all the Snickers. So I'm just like, and I will just be taking these. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's good. I would give you all of my Snickers because I don't yeah. particularly like Snickers that much. Yeah, that's I fair. I have to be a bit more careful about what candies I eat because I'm having issues with my jaw and uh, uh, besides that, chewy things hurt. So you need more, yeah, you need the, softer things. I can, well, just not necessarily softer things, but things that don't require lots of chewing. Chewy. Yeah, so not like Coffee Crisp or Kit Kat. Caramels, which... Well, no, kip, kip, those things are fine. No, more like no chewy caramel. Oh. Like caramels. Cause oh, I, I, apparently, I see. Okay. I apparently have TMJ or, uh, well, GM, TMJ dysfunction. So my jawbone is like, hi, we are, um, the, the, the muscles are a little bit tense and we go a little bit sideways sometimes. And I'm like, cool. You don't gotta. Yes, we do. So, uh, yeah, now I've got that problem going on. And I made it worse because I didn't know I had this problem until after I ate caramels and an apple and chewy nerd <laughs> candies. Yeah. And then I'm like, hey, why did I get a migraine for two days? Oh, my jaw muscles hurt. Oh. That'll okay. do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Get out of here. I like chew. caramels, though. Did you just say chew? Yeah. Shoe. Keisha's, Keisha's being a tool. Oh no. I want Keisha. She's trying to, she keeps jumping on my lap, but like doing the thing where it's not kneading, but she's just Claw. at the same time with both paws, claws in. Not even Ooh. like the paws up and down. Ooh. No, just claws in. Yeah. Lovely. So. Yeah. She can just go away. No. All right, I'm ready now. I just right. have to All fix right. some Let us words. do the thing. Let us begin. All right, so Fact or Fever Dream. If you haven't heard this, play this before. It's a little tiny little mini game. I give three little descriptions of TV shows, as well as uh, what year they came out and how many seasons, because I'm nice like that. Uh, my three con- lovely contestants must guess if they are true. Or they actually happened, or if they were indeed fever dreams that we all had, as one does. Um, I am a little bitch, though. So I do sometimes just kind of like, you know, you take lie. 20 years away from the teach TV show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Atomic Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Atomic Betty. You lie and you deceive. I'm a deceiver. But I also am a little nice. I give each of them a question. Chris has found a way to break the rules a little bit with the questions. <laughs> My bye? Yep. Yep. I didn't know. Because you ask questions question. specific to the specific show. Specifically that I cannot answer. No. Every time you target specific shows and ask specific questions that you know I cannot answer. And, and I say like, no. I cannot answer so you now know what the answer is. I didn't know that that was... Uh, yeah, fair enough. You, I'm pretty sure you've done it every time. I have, but, like, I didn't realize <laughs> yeah. that, like... Because I wasn't using it as a... Oh, okay, you can't answer that, so therefore I know if this is true. It's more of a, okay, you can't answer that, so it could be either or. <laughs> yeah, but still. <laughs> a little bit, but it's not enough that I will stop you from doing it. Um, and I may or may not have found a way around it. Fuck is that? It's Obviously. So, uh, okay. also, my three, my three shows always have a theme, and as usual, I will ask, do you guys want the theme now or later? Let's yes. have it now, please. The theme is spooky. I figured. Fuck you. <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> the theme is just spooky, okay. mainly because sh- I can find We're doing shows, right? Not movies? They are always TV shows. Yeah. Okay. Because when we I go when we go movies. back to the other game, yes. it'll be movies. Right. It's movies in the other game. Yeah. So this one is specifically TV shows from distant memory. 
or not so distant sometimes. Depending. Independent. Yeah. Independent. All right, this, uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This for this first one, actually, uh, it's literally one line, and that was the thing I stole right off of their page. Cool. And this spooky series each episode contains a tale most horrendous and spooky to share. <laughs> cool. Like, all right, that's, that's it. My favorite synopsis. Nothing. That's it. I can't. That's nothing. And I'm like, I love it. Crap. That's my favorite. Um, your second one is following the story of a young boy. As he finds this, I spelled boy with an I. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here comes the, the boy. 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 As he finds a small monster and must encounter and sometimes battle his way through Chinese folklore to return it to its family. I'm going to one day, I'm just going to stop paraphrasing everything so I stop typoing myself. <laughs> uh, and our third option is this follows the story of a young worker who can somehow track an ancient monster who feeds on the souls of children. Now they must save the children without falling victim themselves. Our first one, it ran for seven seasons from 89 to 96. Wow. A second one only ran for one season, um, from 99 to 2000. And the third one ran for two seasons, from 2019 to 2020. Oh, very recent. Okay. Huh. Very recent. Huh. And they are respectively HBO, HBO, and AMC. Oh, okay. For their original airing at network. Interesting. So it's not pure... original Canadian airing network, original airing network. Yeah. So HBO, HBO, and AMC. Mm-hmm. Question. I don't know what AMC. <laughs> yeah, you guys may ask your questions. If you have any, or as a, you may sacrifice your question to another player, or you may ask for a random fact instead. Hmm. Was the first one based off a series of books? It was loosely based off of a series of comic books. Hmm. Could I know a random fact about the second one, please? The following the young, story of a young boy is to blah, 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 blah. Yes. This one, it's uh, set in 1920 and is actually a spinoff of a very popular Halloween movie. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Boomy, stop scratching the wall. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the cat. Hmm. I don't want to scratch the litter box. I'm going to scratch the wall instead. Oh, yes. We live with that yep. constantly. That's why we put his litter box in the bathtub. That's why. <laughs> It's in a bathtub oh, now. God. Well, it's in a shower stall technically, but like it's all surrounded by tile and the glass door, so it's like you can scratch a little heart out. I don't care. That's hilarious. That's that is hilarious. And Devin, you got a question, random fact desire? You want to sacrifice the question? Did the third show have anything to do with zombies? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Just because I know it's AMC and AMC <laughs> does The Walking Dead, so. Oh yeah, good call. Yeah, I'm I, I there, there think... is one specific kind of monster in this, and I do not believe it has any zombies in it. Period. Also, she did say about targeting young children. True, but there is also yeah. now a, a Walking Dead spinoff that follows a bunch of kids. Yeah, that is true. Fair. Walking Dead has gotten far too much power. So much. Yeah. It's it's, ev it's everywhere and it's everywhere and nobody's at nobody cares about it anymore. Yeah. Yep. And I never cared about it. It was zombies. Yeah. Yeah, true. All right. You guys got a uh, you, you got your thoughts together or do you want a little more time to think? Hmm. 
I was a dick with this one, wasn't I? Yeah, a little bit. I think I know what the third one is. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling I know what the second one is, but it, the, the name of the show escapes me. I don't know what any of them are. <laughs> I think you're all going to kick me about at least one of these. You all are going to desire to kick me. Most As opposed probably. to any other time we played this where we haven't <laughs> apparently wanted to. Oh, it's going to be more of how can I be that stupid uh, or how is Kira that mean? Ah, uh, yes. It's going to be one that, of those reasons. Now that you've said that, though, I have a theory. But I don't know. Hmm? Lucy but which one comments. am I that mean about? Yeah, that's the thing. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got your guesses? Mm -hmm. You got your guesses compiled? I you got your so. thoughts arranged? You got the spooky in your head? Your soul and your bones? It's somewhere. Alright, so the first... I hope you got the spooky in your bones. The first one <laughs> in this spooky series, each episode contains a tale most horrendous and spooky to share. True or false? That's true. true. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say true. Right. I missed it the first time you said it. <laughs> and the second one, following the story of a young boy, is he finds a small monster and must encounter and sometimes battle his way through Chinese folklore to return it to fa its family. I'm going to say true. I'm going to say false. I'm going to say true. That is Chris. And the third one. Tells the story of a young worker who can somehow track the an ancient monster who feeds on the souls of children. Now they must save the children without falling victim themselves. I, I'm gonna I, say I think false. that's true because I'm I think I know what it is. False. Actually, I'm gonna say true. <laughs> you got, yeah, yeah. Stop doing that after after I <laughs> type right, it in, man. I, I don't normally do that. Okay. All right. So that's. McBride false, Devin true, Chris true on that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm true on all of them. Yeah. So, Devin, do you think you have a title for the third one? I think that was specifically season two of a show called The Terror. Okay, well, it would, it would be the whole show as a, show, a whole. Yeah. But, all right. Devin's this one. All right, then. Uh, starting at the top. Is it, no, nobody else got titles for me? No. I think I know what the first one is. But I don't think we're allowed to. Because you've already said one. I've already you said one. one, so... You get one. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> but I'm about to... <laughs> Boomy's eating Kiki's tail. Fantastic, Boomy. Great, great epitome of cat. First one, we're in the spooky series. Each episode contains a tale most horrendous and spooky. And, and we got... You all think that's true, huh? Mm-hmm. You all think that's true. Well, hello, boils and ghouls. That is indeed Tales of the Ki Crypt Keeper. I God damn it, so. I was right. Oh, yeah, I was okay. right. I fucking yes. knew it. See, I, I was like ghost... Like, I was like hello, goosebumps. Hello, kitties. Or... Yeah. Scary stories to tell in the dark? No, that's not quite right for either of those. Okay, I don't know what this is, yeah, but it's something along that. Tales of the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. It was some sort of anthology series, I knew that. So, in the second one, Chris and McBride thinks it's true. Mm -hmm. Devin thinks it's false. Technically, Devin is the only correct one, because this show has yet to be made. Oh. Oh. This, this is Gremlins... Oh. Secrets of the Mogwai. Okay. Which is supposed to come out this year. Because that the, the, my thought process with that one, I remember... Well, I think I remember as, as, as a hui lad, there was a show where there was a kid and there was a little a blue hui. monster. And they had to do something. But I don't remember what it was called. It wasn't I... um, Foster's Home for an Imaginary Things. It was something else. No. It was earlier than that. I... 
think I vaguely there, there's a part of my fever dream. Yeah, that I'm, that I'm, I'm gonna have to Google that after I found out the third one. Yeah, it says the original release was 2021, but I can find nothing on the show, so I think it got pushed back okay, by COVID. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so it's uh, about the, this is supposed to take, be about the old man who gives Gizmo away, oh, how he gets Gizmo oh, in the first place. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. It, it looks really cool, and you get to, s that's why obviously Chinese folklore. Yeah. He has to return Gizmo to his family and cover a legendary treasure. And they pursue the power-hungry industrialists and his growing army of evil, uh, evil gremlins. Yeah. So there are gremlins chasing him as well. Oh, okay. Oh. And the third one, which is a really weird synopsis. <laughs> We've got Devin and Chris are true. McBride is false. Mm -hmm. Devin, you think it's something called the Terror? Yeah, because that's it's, it's weird because the Terror was like each season is a new storyline. And that doesn't sound mm. like anything to do with the first season, but that sounds does sound a lot like the second season, which was set in a Japanese internment camp. Oh. Oh. That sounds cool. But it is a true show. This is a show, but it is not the terror. It is actually called Nosferatu. Oh, oh god damn it. it. That's right. That was a show Nosferatu. that existed. Yep. Ran for two seasons. I think... Where where I am, I think it only aired on Prime. So I don't think we have AMC. Yeah, that was yeah, it was an AMC show, and I totally forgot it existed. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Yep, yeah, Nosferatu. I wanted to do some classic horror, horror guys, and then I was like racking my brain, which is why earlier I said I I, I need a sec, and then I remembered Nosferatu was remade into a TV show. <laughs> like, all right, where's Nosferatu? Okay, so I found where's, the one that yeah. I was where looking my for. Nosfer it's called okay. My Pet Monster. What's it called? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's that's an old one. That's an 80s one. And then I came across another one that I had completely forgotten about. Monster by Mistake. Oh. It's it's like oh. some teenager that does something and he turns into a giant blue yeti thing. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Anyway, yeah, that was that was yeah. The the my pet monster was the, was the thing I was thinking about. That, that, that we, we, we need those those things of like I know I know this is real. Yeah, when was that? That was This is the fever dream. Okay, well it started in eighty seven. It's not telling me when it stopped. Oh yeah, because it's saying adventures between thing. a boy and a strange creature with blue fur. Yeah. <laughs> First episode date nineteen eighty six. It it can't still be going. Eighty six to eighty seven. No, it's not. It it only ran for one season, it says. Oh, okay. That's probably why so it just says 87 they only... yeah because it, 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 it's over and Although, then the property was sold to seven brands in 2012 they just went in tw then in 2018 it has been acquired the my pet monster brand from seven brands oh yeah because it started as a plush doll yeah that sounds about right a lot of uh tv shows back in the day were toys before shows yes yeah yeah, and then yeah, it's from September twelfth to December nineteenth of nineteen eighty seven. And then this monster by mistake. Mm. It's some kid who gets mixed up in a magic still spell and turns into a monster every time he sneezes. That's what it that was. That is amazing. That's hilarious. It went from ninety six to two thousand three. <gasps> oh no, I remember this show. Yeah. It was uh oh, I it's remember YTV. This show, and they had the friend ghost. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, the friend also, ghost. This, yes. This, <laughs> yeah. This oh, just I forgot about that. Also of um, Katie and Orby, which is a show. Oh, yes, I remember, I remember that Wait, one. Wait, I remember this show. That one's so old. Holy yeah. shit! I forgot this show existed. Yeah. Yeah. Monster by mistake. I Kill vaguely you. remember it. <laughs> it. The, You'll remember um, it once you see it. That was so wonky. Nope. Yeah. You don't know this show? Okay, I guess I don't. <laughs> that looks like nothing I've ever seen. Wow. I forgot this show existed. I don't think I ever watched it willingly. <laughs> I think it was always like That's on a... while I was waiting for another show, or like if I didn't know what yeah. else to watch. And then the other one I used like... to watch all the time. I think it was also. Uh, what is it called? Seven Ad Little Monsters. Monsters was fun. Ah, uh, uh, real monsters. That's I used to watch that all yep. the goddamn time.
I used to like seven that was little a good monsters. One. Oh yeah, that that was a that was a series of shorts. But Ah Monsters, that was a good show. They tried to bring that back a while ago. I know. Do you guys remember <laughs> Mona the Vampire? Yes. Mona the, yeah. yeah that I remember. Familiar. I don't remember anything about the show. I just remember the theme song. It was uh, a lot of imagination, and they imagined the adults as monsters that they had to save. Including one of the main trio was a monster as well, until they quote-unquote saved her, and she became a friend and saved Kick-Ass with them later on. Huh. They're just little kids have causing havoc. Oh, yeah. My god. I'm... I'm Spooky. Where were these like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, god damn it, well, these were really good. <laughs> well, we haven't done an episode on uh, kids' shows yet, specifically kids' shows. Well, yeah, usually I. Because a lot of them are kids' shows mm -hmm. that I choose. Well, yeah, but that means that the kids' show as a theme is way more open and we won't help us at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I I gotta give you guys some kind of hook, some kind of bait to latch onto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make you feel like you're winning. <laughs> you're winning, son. <laughs> I have, I have slow, winning. I am slowly peeling the tape off of my hands because it was just getting too itchy. I got tape on your hands. God, it is literally like the mummy now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got tape on your hands. Well, no, because oh. it's KT tape. Athletic tape. I've got blisters oh, on okay, my fingers. <laughs> no, I'll show a picture of the, 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 the weird tape on my hand now. Yeah, if it's athletic tape right now, I'm, 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 I'm less concerned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God damn it. No, I just want to watch the Brendan Fraser mummy again. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh god, I agree with Devin. Ow. It is the mummy. Right? Because <laughs> you chose fleshy colored Ow. athletic tape. Yeah. Usually Ow. they come in like blue. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chris, just rip it off you gotta like rip a band-aid. Yep. I, no, you can't rip it. Keep in mind, I've got stretchy skin. Ripping it off like a band-aid will rip my skin. Just have the will of a Beyblade and let it rip. Oh, actually, no. Did Have you guys ever heard about the story? Because you guys, I, I was it 40-year-old virgin that is the scene where yes. uh, Steve Carell's getting waxed? Oh, yes. Apparently, when they were shooting yep, that, that's... Uh, the person preparing it, they would put the uh, a certain uh, adhesive on his skin before applying the actual tape because otherwise you could actually like do damage taking it off yeah, yeah. apparently they had set yeah. it up but they forgot to put a bit of it on his left nipple mm. oh. and apparently right before they were about to do it someone yelled oh. someone yelled cut because they realized it was about to happen but he could have had his skin ripped off oh god ah. so yeah that's fun. And there's a tag. 40-year-old virgin facts. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 40 -year -old virgin. Facts that have not been fucked for 40 years. Steve Carell could be nippleless. <laughs> no, just one nipple. <laughs> one nipple. Could, could be down <gasps> a nipple. Oh, dear. Or he could have maybe maybe he's one of those weird people that has like three nipples, and then just evened it out. So there we go. I I I mean I'm pretty sure you saw his bare chest in that film, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have three nipples. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Yeah, fair. Boomy has decided it's time to no oh, CGI. <laughs> or, yeah. Okay, I chomp. <laughs> I go chomp. Boy. Oh. Boomy is being a very good boy. Boomy boy. I'm in prime chopping zone. I, prime chopping I'm a little sad though because I carved my pumpkins on Friday. Oh yeah? 
And I walked outside this morning, and oh, I no, noticed that the one of them... No. Uh, it is uh, starting to rot already, even though I only parked it. Yeah. Like oh, no. I was like, aw. That's, yeah, that's, uh, it's so actually, something I've, I've already, I've always been nervous of. Okay. Especially having them here, where I don't have, well, I have like, to go a take really some cold place to keep them. It's actually falling in on itself. Yeah. Mm. So I have to go yeah. take some toothpicks out. Because the one that the one that's noticeable on, the one that's actually like physically rotting, is um. It's one of those ones where like. It's connected to each other very thinly. Oh yeah. Here I, I have a picture of it. One second. I took a picture like the day of, while I was carving it. Oh. But you can see where it connects oh, yeah. very very thinly. A little ambion. I did my icon. It looks good. So, oh. <laughs> you can see That's awesome. it is very thin at very certain parts. So it is falling apart a little on that. The other one I did was a bitch, and I did it just because I said I would, and I did my server logo. Oh, neat. <laughs> yeah, that was a bitch. I don't... Nowhere near pumpkins. as good as Devin's. <laughs> Nowhere near as good as Devin's. I have a knife. <laughs> No! That I'm not allowed to have. That was that was the other joke yeah, we made watching. <laughs> Sorry. <that's... laughs> we were watching the new season of uh, Critical Role is out now. And throughout the episode, there were, we, there were two different times during the first episode. No, it was the first episode and the second episode. Right, where we made like a joke or something. Where I think it the first one reference. where someone said they had a knife and we just went, no. And then two seconds later... They made the joke. They made the joke in the actual show. And, and then, then uh, the last episode, something was happening and both it caused us to both do the little don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. And then they don't started to do it afterwards. Literally, two, literally one split second afterwards. Yeah, it was because they were trying, well, they were trying not to be suspicious. <laughs> yeah. And... And you, you know what's kind of funny with that, too? So I had a very similar experience with that. I was watching a video yesterday. It was, um, it was, it was a opera singer reacting to a, a video, like a, like a music video. And, um, the, the, the one part that she was talking about beforehand, I can't remember what it was. And then I, I responded as soon as she said that it's like no it, it would be like this and then immediately afterwards like oh well i don't know if she, i don't know if they're doing it like this way or something i'll have to figure that out and just like all right stop that we're not having this conversation right now <laughs> this isn't <Yes>. happening <laughs> oh you should hush. i should i tell them about the, the fresh cut grass bit no let them let them experience fresh cut grass themselves. Oh man, I really want to tell them though. I will send the I will send the the link in the group chat though. Yes, because one in Critical Role, uh, there uh, one of the uh, guys is playing an automaton. Um, and his name is Fresh Cut Grass. His name right? is Fresh Cut Grass because he's he's talking about how oh. his creator made made him and a bunch of all of his all of the creators. All of her favorite smells. Yeah, all of her favorite smells. So he goes, yeah, there was me. No, we can't. Ex we, you're not going further than that. No. But I want to say no. it. It's so you funny. You can't. Oh. You can't because it's still technically considered spoilers. you got to stop. This is true. Even though neither you of them watched stop. Critical Role. No. No. No, but for, people uh, for everybody right? else. This is true. This is true. you got to be careful. Plus, te actually, technically, since this is only a season, there's only two episodes, they could easily start watching Critical Role Season 3. This is true. And catch up. They could. Because it'll, it won't take long. Granted, Why don't you two plug our own podcast and gaming show this well? Because <laughs> we're barely on the gaming <laughs> channel. <laughs> That's our fault. <laughs> Whose fault's that? Whose fault is that? Ours. Absolutely. But also because this is D&D. This is true. I actually had to turn down playing in a D and D campaign recently. Because that would be too many D and D campaigns. Even do. I can recognize when six campaigns is too much. Too Just many first. cooks. Too many cooks. Too, too many, many cooks. cooks. <laughs> uh, uh, shall we wrap it up? Yeah, you. Yeah, we gotta wrap it up. I need to go need to back sleep. to sleep. <laughs>
Yeah. And I'd once more, we'll, you need some milk. <laughs> once more, will the muffa bun fu- find her rest, only to awaken another Sunday. That was actually kind of good. <laughs> That was actually good, and I hate that how good really it was. That was really good. <laughs> Thanks. I was, I was actually kind of proud of that. Which, uh, a round of applause. Yay. A round of applause. All right, so don't forget to uh, follow us if you're listening on um, Spotify, Spotify or Google Podcasts yeah. or one of the other podcast things we're yeah. on. Wherever podcasts um, go. Or you're using your psychic powers to listen in on us. Yeah, f- follow us in real life, yes. except don't, please. Please don't. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> if don't. you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite Halloween movie was, because we seem to start with that. We did. Oh, we, we, there were so many we missed, like oh, God, Corpse yeah. Bride. Yeah, yeah. There, there are hundreds. I'm drawing a blank but... now. After Sleepy I Hollow. That. Yes. Sleepy that Hollow movie Hollow. is such a Halloween vibe. Has so much such Halloween vibes. Well, like, of course it does. It which, has a Delahun. Yes. Also, fun fact: that movie okay. has three different uh, Sith lords in it. Of course. It's got Christopher Lee at the beginning. Ian McDermott is one of the village elders, and the guy playing the actual like headless horseman when it's not Christopher Walken Delahun. is uh, Darth Maul. Of course it is. Really? Yeah. It's Ray Park. I mean, you, you, you wouldn't notice because you can't see his I face. I mean, true. But... <laughs> well, son of a bitch. Got no head. So, yeah. I can't Dooku, see my face Count when Dooku, I'm... Emperor Palpatine, and Darth Maul are all in that movie. Son I of a bitch. I can't see my face when I'm with you. <laughs> now, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, tell your friend... T- t- if you want to hear more stupid shit from at least me and McBride, uh, you can head out to the gaming channel. And eventually or, us. Which... One day. Candy corn yes, gang rings. Candy corn gang rise up. Hell no. no. Yes. One day, one day I'm gonna do a perfect outro. One of these no. days. One day. It will not be this day. One day. I but just one got day. smacked in the boob by a cat. <laughs> Good. I'm glad the cat channeled my energy. <laughs> it's because I'm poking him with a pencil. You got smacked in the tit by a pussy. Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Happy Halloween.